Hello everyone! For today's video, we're going to learn comparing numbers. And when we say comparing, we mean two numbers. You will see which one is greater and which one is smaller. Are they equal or not equal? Comparing numbers. The comparing symbols used to compare numbers are greater than. Remember its shape? The opening is toward to your left. Smaller than. Remember the shape? Its opening is toward to your right. Equal to. You can see two parallel lines or not equal to. You can see slanted line on the equal sign. These are, again, greater than, smaller than, equal to, and not equal to. Let's compare the numbers. We have here, first example, 52 and 36. How will we know which symbol to use? First, you have to look at the first digit of each number. We have here 5 and 3. Which one is greater? Greater means bigger. We say 5 is greater than 3. Right. So therefore, 52 is greater than 36. And we are going to use greater than symbol. Since 52 is written first, we say 52 is greater than 36. We can also switch the numbers. So if we write first 36, we will change the symbol into smaller than 52. Another way of answering is to use not equal to symbol. It means that 52 is different from 36. In this case, we have 52 is not equal to 36. We have many ways to compare numbers. Let's try another example. We have here 61 and 60. In these numbers have the same tens digits. So we have here 6 on the tens place and the second number 60, 6 is on the tens place as well. So which one is greater? They're just equal. Now remember that they have another digit which is on the ones place. So let's try to look at the second digit. For the first number, we have 1, and the second number, we have 0. Now, think, which one is greater? We say 1 is greater than 0. Therefore, 61 is greater than 60. We are going to use greater than symbol, since 61 is the first one written. In our example. Now, can we switch? Yes, you can switch the numbers, but we will change the symbol as well. So if we write first 60, we are going to use smaller than because 60 is really smaller than 61. Let's try higher and bigger numbers. Now we have three digits numbers. We have 545, our first number, and 534, our second number. Now they have the same numbers on the hundreds. Five and five. Can we tell the difference? No, they're just the same. Therefore, we have to look at the second digits, which are placed on the tens. We have 4 and we have 3. 
Now, can we tell the difference? Yes, four is bigger or greater than three. So, we can decide that 545 is greater than 534. We are going to use greater than symbol. 545 is greater than 534. Can we switch them? Yes, we can. But we are going to use another symbol. 534, since it is smaller than 545, we are going to use smaller than symbol. That's it. Now let's try to read the numbers. 37 is smaller than 80. Now your turn. Good. 61 is greater than 8. Now you try. 3 is equal to 3. Try it. 493 is greater than 439. Your turn. 45 is equal to 545. Your turn. 376 is greater than 375. Your turn. 376 is not equal to 375. Your turn. 345 is smaller than 389. Now I wanted you to do the same. Look at the numbers, especially the first number, and see if it is greater than or smaller than the second number. For the second activity, go to page 21 of your workbook and look for number three. You fill in the blanks. For example, we have here 345 and 534. On the first sentence, blank is greater than blank. Now we're looking for the greater number. Which one is the greater? We say 534 is the greater. So you write first 534 is greater than, and then you write the smaller number, 345. And we have the second sentence. We are looking for smaller number. You switch the numbers, and you write first, 345 is smaller than 534. You do letter A, letter B, and letter C. 
Please write the numbers in English for letter B and letter C. That is all for our lesson today. Good luck, everyone, and see you on the next class. Bye!